Anne Hesh's death was confirmed on Friday, one week after she crashed her car into a home in Mar Vista, California. Anne Hesh has been taken off life support. Anne Hesh has been peacefully taken off life support, the star's representative told on Sunday evening. Two days after confirmed that the 53-year-old actress died from injuries sustained in a recent car crash, a representative for Hesh confirmed that an organ recipient match was made and she would be removed from life support Sunday. Information surrounding which of Hesh's organs were donated, as well as who the recipient is, is not immediately known. A representative for Hesh confirmed the actress' death in a statement Friday on behalf of her friends and family. Today we lost a bright light, a kind and most joyful soul, a loving mother, and a loyal friend. Anne will be deeply missed but she lives on through her beautiful sons, her iconic body of work, and her passionate advocacy, the statement continued. Her bravery for always standing in her truth, spreading her message of love and acceptance, will continue to have a lasting impact. Although Hesh was legally dead according to California law at the time of the announcement, it had long been her choice to donate her organs, so Hesh's heart was still beating and she was still on life support in order to allow One Legacy Foundation enough time to find recipients who will be a match. After Hesh's death, her ex-husband, Coleman Coley, LaFoon, shared a teary, heartfelt tribute to the late actress. He also gave an update on how their 20-year-old son Homer LaFoon is coping with the loss. I loved her and I miss her, and I'm always going to, he said in an Instagram reel, adding, Homer is okay. He's grieving, of course, and it's rough. It's really rough, as probably anybody can imagine. But he's surrounded by family and he's strong, and he's gonna be okay. Hesh had several projects in the works, with her upcoming Lifetime Movie Girl in Room 13 premiering September 17. She was also set to star opposite Dermot Mulroney in the upcoming horror thriller Full Ride and had a recurring role in All Rise on Own.